Hi, Harry here on August 12th, Friday. Uh, and of course, we're at a very important time in the markets. We've seen that first wave down uh, in the NASDAQ, which I'm tracking. It's kind of the lead index here rather than the S&P 500. Now, normally what we look for to say, hey, this is the beginning of a big crash is we like to see about a 40% first wave down. Well, we got 35% on the NASDAQ and 24% on the S&P 500. So that is close enough. I mean, that verifies to me. <laughs> Would have liked to see 40, but, but, but so we have to play this like this is the crash. It has begun and we're in that bounce and this bounce has gone about as far it should go. It's been 50% retracement, which is ideal on the S&P. It's about 44% on the NASDAQ, getting towards 50. So this is the time for people that did not get out uh, the first time around to get out of stocks. This is the final chance to sell. I've been using 13,000 on the NASDAQ, which we did get above just briefly yesterday. We might do it one more time. That's the ideal place to sell, but I wouldn't be waiting here because the next wave down is likely to take us as low as 7,400 and maybe back to the COVID lows at 6,700 on the NASDAQ. So, so you have to get out of this uh, to get defensive in stocks. Uh, so again, last chance to sell for stocks. Now that brings us to the most important topic. What is the defensive play I've been saying all along, especially for people who don't like to short stocks? Well, it's the treasury bonds, the 10 and 30 year treasury bonds. Of course, TLT, uh, 20 year average is the easiest, and most liquid, but I like ZROZ, Z-R-O-Z I've been saying, because it leans more towards the 30 years, a 25 year average. So that's what we do, I've been saying, but I use the TLT is, is, the, is the buy signals, okay? 108 was the low I marked back in June. Uh, we've had a target of 196, that's 81%. That's the biggest bond rally you'll see, especially during a downturn. Uh, so, so this is a great opportunity. And it went to 120, first resistance, pulled back just yesterday to 114. I gave a kind of a buy signal yesterday, an update to our subscribers. So right around here, if you didn't buy or you wanna add, 114 or even a little higher because it's not going to be long. I think by the end of next year, we could be as high as 196. And that's a 72% play from here still. So, so, so the bonds are the best place to be, even if, because here's why. Let's say the Fed, which I don't think they'd be able to do, is able to do a soft landing where, where the economy slows, but stocks don't go down as much, but bond rates will still go down. And so the bonds have a higher chance of reaching their best targets than do the stocks. Although I think I still like being short stocks, the, you know, the SQQQ or the PSQ and long the TLT or the ZROZ. So, so this is the time to be acting and I will keep you updated. And also I've been reminding people that because this is such an important time, I'm giving a special offer on, on the HSN forecast, our newsletter, 30% off. This is the most we offer. So you just go to hsdent.com and you put in dent, small D-E-N-T, no space, 30. So dent 30, and you can get the newsletter for a year for 30% off. Don't, uh, this will only be off, uh, offered for the next week. So please get on our newsletter if you're not. This is the most important time, this crash. The crash of your lifetime is happening now.